These are distressing images of whips and sticks being used by the Taliban to hit women. It happened during a protest in Kabul on Wednesday, where demonstrators chanted freedom. Since the new all-male interim government was announced on Tuesday, it has banned all protests and demonstrations which don't have official approval. Our international correspondent Annalise Borges spoke to the Taliban spokesman about the new administration. The cabinet has not been completed yet, and it will be completed soon. Everyone is in charge. In the meantime, there are many reforms. You know that the offices were empty, and we introduced the supervisors to improve the offices. Are you, are you worried about convincing the international community about the inclusiveness of the new government? Excuse me, sir. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. All problems are solved. The important thing is the issue of security that gets better. All other things are solved. The U.S. Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, says the new Afghan government will be judged by its actions. Despite professing that a new government would be inclusive, the announced list of names consists exclusively of individuals who are members of the Taliban or their close associates, and no women. We understand the Taliban has presented this as a caretaker cabinet. We will judge it and them by its actions. This all comes as the Western world still has the challenging task of getting the rest of its citizens out of the country.